Greetings, everybody. I just did the math, and today is day number 316 without any methadone. So on this video, I'm going to keep it short, and I'm going to give you my opinion on which is better to get off of, heroin or methadone. Well, folks, this last adventure I went through, I, um, I got addicted to heroin. And then, because I couldn't get off of heroin, I got onto methadone. So, there's your answer, folks. Methadone is much easier to get off than heroin. Now, I understand that the half-life for heroin is much shorter. And um, you'll kick for shorter. But kicking, being 24 hours off of heroin, is a world of difference than being 24 hours, 48 hours, or even 72 hours off of methadone. Um, like I said before, it really does depend on your hydration levels. But at the end of the day, the hell that you go through mentally, for the most part, and physically on heroin, withdrawing from heroin, is nothing compared to methadone. Um, some people say, oh, I'm just going to get off heroin and be good in a week. Yeah, it's five days, like five to seven days of withdrawal. No, it doesn't work that way, man. It's like, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to sleep on a bed of hot coals for, for a week and, and, uh, I'm just going to tough it out. It does like, it doesn't work that way, man. The only way you're getting off of heroin, cold turkey, is if you're in jail or, you are physically unable to get heroin. Like, if you're in jail, if you're on vacation in some country where they'll murder you for having drugs, like Thailand or Indonesia or some shit. But, um, yeah. So, if you're having problems with heroin, cop on to the methadone train. And, uh, by all means, stay away from the other clowns in the methadone palace. Because a lot of them are going to be dead in the next five days. Uh, not next five days. Next five years. Even a year. Um, it's, just a, it's just a realm for really, really hardcore drug addicts, in my opinion. And, and uh, some, of them, some of the people in the methadone clinic are actually regular folks that have serious pain problems. And, and uh, yeah, but I would say 80-90% of them are heroin addicts that are still seeking out heroin, still seeking out oxys, shoplifting, fucking ripping, robbing, rip just whatever you can think of. Like you could you could join a methadone. You could join a methadone spot and get involved in some serious shit that will have your ass in jail in no time. So just be careful of that. But um as somebody that has many years of experience, I would say to hop on the methadone train if if heroin is awful and uh yeah i mean either way it's not fun but it's a lot it's a lot less torturous being on methadone for six months a year two years and then trying to wean off and uh let me tell you like it's a 90% chance that when you try to wean off a of methadone, 99% chance that you're going to fuck up again somehow. But the trick is just to keep on trying and uh, keep keep the needle out of your arm. Because the, um, the more bioavailability that you got, the more it's going to change your life. Especially with a nasty drug like heroin. So, yeah, just... Uh, Remember, don't let anybody tell you that, that five days of withdrawal, or six, seven days of withdrawal isn't as bad as two or three weeks of withdrawal. Okay? It's like, it's like, uh, like I said before, it's like, like going, going through heroin withdrawal is like, it's like walking on hot coals all day, going through methadone withdrawal. It's kind of like, kind of like, uh. It's just not as whack, man. It's not as it's not as bad. And um, 
and it actually gives you a chance to focus on something other than acquiring money, acquiring drugs. Like it's, your life becomes more than just um, a mission to get high. It's actually like you can actually start to go to work. Like if they have a real job, you could um, maybe hold down a place to live consistently. Um, you may you may like get some of your relationships back that you that you destroyed. I mean, not guaranteed. I don't know how big of a scumbag you were, but uh, yeah, sky's the limit on how big of a scumbag you can become. Remember this, like, like just because you think you're bad because you you stole Granny's fucking jewels or some shit. Trust me, there's like there's there's levels to being a scumbag on opiates or drugs in general. So. Don't don't think that you that you've hit the pinnacle of scumminess. Like, like uh, who knows? Next time, next time you start shooting up, you could start knocking off like liquor stores or fucking Seven Elevens. You could be hitting for a hundred bucks and going to jail for seven years because you're a retard. You know, like like the levels of scumminess gets gets worse and worse as you get older, especially when you dealing with with drugs and people that need drugs so um more of the story uh just uh drink water smoke a lot of weed all right